Okay, video number eight. <clears throat> We're on the orange lathe and it's on the highest speed. I might change that. I'll just get it set up first. So that we've got the live center, the tool rest, the tool post, the dead center, the tail stock, dust extractor. Dust extractor's off at the moment. So, will this move? No. Will it move? Yes, it will. So it's not locked. Again, where you put the saw cuts goes into the live center, so it's got something to bite into. Hopefully that'll work. Ooh, got to go back a bit further. Slide it back a bit further. Tail stock slid back. Dead center is now hard up against the wood. Lock the tail stock in position. That's locked. That's unlocked. Don't unlock it. Just unlock it a little bit. Wind the dead center into the wood so it's got a good bite on it. You can see it moving out there, just that little three or four millimeters. Lock it up. Have a look at this end. Pretty good. All right, I'm going to work on one end at a time. I might work on this end first. I just think that would be better for the camera and then I'll do that one later on. But it's the same technique for both of them. Okay, so sometimes these things can be tricky to slide. Yep, about there. About the right distance away. We want some hanging over the end so that we can cut off the end. Lock it in place. And then we want to lift it up to about halfway. Or just below halfway. I don't know if you can see that, but it's below the halfway line the center line. Lock it in position. My estimate was a little bit wrong. Oh no, that's about right. That's about right. It just misses. You can just see a tiny little whisker of air in there. So that's looking pretty good. I've got it set up. Now I need to do some marking out. For that I'll need to go and get some tools. So number eight was putting it onto the next lathe so we can turn one end first, one handle, and then turn the other handle. 